Namaskar to all. It's Dr. Anuradha again, uh, coming to you all with the second segment of my first lecture, that is areas of research in Uttar Basti. So to start with, we will be today going through and during this uh, lecture, the areas of research in Uttar Basti in concern to a pharmacological study. The pharmacological study was carried in context of Kashtartha, that is dysmenorrhea, in relation to have an animal model for giving Uttar Basti as well as the oral group. So the very first thing which comes that what is the need of such kind of pharmacological study? So the main objective for conducting this pharmacological study is to provide a scientific foundation for better therapeutics in the Ayurvedic field, particularly many combinations which have been explained in our classics. It has to be tried and to standardize the, dro the uh, drug dose protocol as per the requirement of the present day population. Particularly in this present study, which has been conducted as a part of my PG uh, thesis, uh, which has been conducted in Gujarat Ayurveda University, Jamnagar. In the present study, two formulations, that is the Shmool tail has been taken for Uttar Basti. And secondly, the Vijayadi Vati, which has been tried as a test group uh, in the oral uh, formulations. So the main aim and objective for which it was conducted uh, is to provide an experimental basis to the therapeutic activity of the drug and also to evaluate its dosage and the uh, formulations whether it has got any estrogenic activity over the animal model. So in the animal model the activities which has been conducted was to evaluate the estrogenic activity and secondly, the antispasmodic activity uh, in the uterus. Materials and method which has been planned for the study was test drug, that is the Shmool tail and Vijayadi Vati. The Shmool tail here has been taken in the form of, uh, it has been given in the form of Uttar Basti to the animal model and Vijayadi Vati, which has been tried and has been given as a oral group administration. Control group for uh, Uttar Basti, it was the til tail which was uh, taken as a control group, whereas tepid water was taken for a control in the oral group. Now coming to the dose fixation, it was very difficult to fix a dose in animal model. Uh, as we know the human Uttar Basti, uh, the dosage which we generally give is 5 ml per day. So considering that adult human dose, the dose for experimental study was uh, uh, calculated by converting the human dose to the animal dose based on the body surface ratio. And it was fixed as 0 0.1 ml per day, irrespective of the body weight of the rat. Whereas in the oral group, 50 mg per kg body weight of the red has been fixed for the dose. In case of mouse, it was only the oral group which was administered and it was fixed as 32.5 mg per kg mouse. Now, a route of drug administration for all uh, animal models which has been tried and red has only been tried for the Uttar Basti group and uh, vaginally it has been administered with a specially prepared tuberculin syringe which is attached to the micro cannula. And for the oral group, as per the body weight of the animal, the, uh, the oral drugs were being administered with the help of the gastric catheter. So uh, on choice of the animal, both uh, the mice as well as the rat has been uh, chosen and female Charles Foster stain albino rats were chosen for the study and it's weighing between 120 to 200 grams were selected. And Swiss albino mice weighing between 28 to 30 
20 to 38 grams were chosen and used for the study. Now the experiments which were conducted to verify whether the test drugs are having any estrogenic activity or not were evaluated on the following parameters. That is firstly evaluation of the effect of estrus cycle. Secondly, evaluation of histopathological changes, whether it is there or not into the, uh, into the cross sections of uterus and the ovary. And third, that is the vaginal opening, where, whether in the immature uh, rat, whether the test drug is having any effect on vaginal, early vaginal opening or not. And lastly, the antispasmodic effect on the isolated rat uterus were also been tried. Now, grouping of the animals were done evenly with six uh, animals in each group. The first group and second group as a test group, the Shmul Tail Uttarvasti in the first group. Second group, that is the Vijayadi Vati. And the third, that is a control as uh, Til Tail Uttarvasti group. All having a six uniformly, the, uh, the, the animal models are being selected and used. And for all albino, uh, young albino female rats were selected. Now, this slide showing the plate of estrus cycle. This is a normal estrus cycle. All the rats which have been tried for this pharmacological study has been first categorized and selected on the basis for three cycles, those rats which are having, who are having those four uh, stages of this estrus cycle, they were only having a regular ovulation, they were only uh, being selected for the studies and the remaining were excluded from the study. So this plate showing the first uh, slide is showing the uh, the one among the four stages of this estrus cycle, that is the, uh, the first is the diestrus cycle. The diestrus cycle, uh, it is taken from the, uh, you know, vaginal smear from the albino uh, rat. And uh, how it is taken, like one drop of distilled water is uh, injected into the vagina and then the smear is taken. This on the glass slide and it is uh, allowed to uh, get dry over the temperature, normal temperature and atmosphere and, uh, and then it is being studied. So the first stage that is the dry diestrous stage which consists mainly of leukocytes with an occasional cornified epithelial cells and this phase actually uh, and generally it lasts for 60 to 70 hours. Then the second stage that is on the right hand side upper plate that is the uh, that is a pro estrus stage that is just before the estrus that is ovulation so pro estrus stage shows many epithelial cells granular cytoplasm include that, that include and that shows a rapidly growing vaginal epithelium and the third which is the main that is the estrus stage and this estrus stage is the period of heat when the animal permits copulation and this heat lasts for around 9 to 15 hours in the animal and uh, during this uh, phase of or the, during this stage of this estrus cycle they are very active and this estrus stage is also the period of high estrogenic activity under the influence of follicular stimulating hormones and then and that's why we can see a dozens or more of the ovarian follicles which are being rapidly grown into the ovary and the last of this stage is the mat estrus stage which is marked by a white cheesy mass which is formed by the desquamation so these are the four stages of the estrus cycle now Coming to the next plate, which shows how the oral administration as well as the vaginal administrations were done, along with the slides of the vaginal smear. Now, plate six, which shows the histopathological sections of the uterus after it has been sacrificed after giving the test drug. Actually, the young female rats weighing between 120 to 200 grams 
were taken into two groups and the drugs were administered for five consecutive days through the gastric catheter as well as the vaginal route. And then the smear of each day were taken for all the animals and then they were identified whether there is any estrus phase or not. So on the fifth day, after an hour of drug administration, the rat were sacrificed and the organ like uterus and ovary were dissected out carefully and has been transferred and um, has been preserved in the formalin for the histopathological examination. So uh, uh, once it is being seen, they have, and uh, it's, there is an ample of evidence which shows and suggests that the estrogen stimulates the growth and development of the uh, uterine tissues, including the myometria. So histological study will de definitely going to emphasize and undertake this note that whether there is any change into this matter because of the test drugs which has been given uh, from externally, uh, whether there is any hormonal activity on the tissues or not. So this was been tried. Then coming to the ovary, the same thing was done and the section were taken for the assessment whether there is any uh, changes into the ovarian tissue or not. So uh, this is also the ovarian sections which you can uh, very well appreciate between the control group and the treated group where in the control group that is down uh, in between you can uh, see all cells. These all cells they shows the, uh, the corpus lithium section of the ovary, which is suggestive again of the estrus phase of the cycle. Now, this is a chymographic uh, of a reading showing the effect of both the test drugs, that is, Vijayadivati and the Shmul tail on the isolated rat uterus. Uh, what exactly it, uh, it, uh, we have done is that. The young female rats, uh, uh, which are brought into the estrus stage by administering an uh, synthetic estrogen, that is ethanyl estradiol, for three days before experiments were used, and then after they were sacrificed on fourth day. The, the rat has a biconvate uterus, so the biconvate uterus were identified and removed by cutting the base of the body and then was kept into the oxygenated physiological salt solution that is the PSS Desalons solution and then it has been tried whether there it shows any activity after giving a synthetic uh, stimulation with the help of uh, synthetic oxytocin. Now in this group the S which are being seen all these S, they represent the stimulations which are being given, that is the sub-maximal response to the oxytocin which has been given uh, exogenously into the one horn of the rat uterus. Now this rat uterus, one horn has been again attached to this uh, black smoke drum for this chymographic recording. A1 and A2 responses, it shows the response to the oxytocin in presence of the Vijayadivati, whereas the B1 and B2 shows the response to the oxytocin in presence of the Shmul tail, whereas the T in the graph, it shows the response of uh, tail tail, and that is the uh, placebo group, or the, the that has been tried in the form of Uttarbasti. So all S are the stimulation or the submaximal response with the help of oxytocin. So in this graph, it can very well be uh, appreciated that when uh, the tail tail, that is the placebo group, has been tried, there is no change in the graph initial change of the graph is exactly same as that of the normal. Whereas you can appreciate in both A1, A2, B1 and B2, there is slight dipping of the, uh, of the initiation of the graph, which shows that 
there is a mild relaxation because of both these uh, uh, group test groups that is the the shmuel tail as well as the vijayati vati group so uh, it this can form a, a new uh, concept to stabilize and to validate that the uttar vasti which we say has go, got a very good role in uterine relaxation particularly using the drugs like the shmuel so this is a scientific validation of what we claim is that the shmuel tail uttar vasti do shows a uterine relaxation and have a got a role in kashtarta so this is a experimental validation so uh, no doubt this is a very small study which has been conducted so uh, i'd request such type of a large scale a large model number of model uh, study should be conducted so that it can be uh, scientifically validated in a scientific platform with uh, where n number is good enough to be uh, you know justify our records so ultimately both vijayadi vati and the dashmul tail it was inferred that did not produce any effect per se further vijayadi vati did not have any oxytocin induced contraction while in presence of dashmul the onset of contraction was delayed so this type of studies need to be Uh, done in uh, in a large number of uh, animal models so with this uh, we uh, just want to conclude with the thing that when we talk about research areas in terms of uttar vasti it is not only a single but it's a team work where a doctor a consultant where a basic science person where a mark marketing expert and an it experts are needed so that they can have a team work so so as to make it uh, patient friendly so as to make it uh, a standardized in the scientific uh, world so that it can be used more and more so to sum up the uh, areas of research in uttar vasti uh, which we have gone during these two lectures the first is acceptability uh, with of the uttar vasti particularly in terms of arts that is uh, assisted reproductive technologies or the techniques assisted reproductive techniques second is the main that is the instrumentation or the instrument research that has uh, has to be a need of the time and third is the drug research so this was all about uh, researches of uttar vasti and i do feel that in near future there will be much more research which has to be done thank you very much